guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a sock bun and how to do the sock bun. So this is what the sock bun looks like and this is what it looks like in the hair. And it's a really fun hairstyle that everyone should know how to do. So you will need one or two socks that match your hair colour, so I usually use about white or black and you'll need some scissors. So basically you want to take your first sock and this is the sock that's not going to be seen and cut off the top of it so that you have something that looks a bit like a tube. So you can see here how it's just like a little tube through the sock. Now do the same thing to your other sock and I'm going to use the black sock as the top sock so it matches my brown hair better. But if you had blonde hair you could use the white sock on top. So what I'm going to do is take the ruffled end that I've cut off, because we don't want it to be seen, and just start rolling it back in on itself. So you're creating a little donut shape. So you can see here how I'm just rolling it and pulling it with my hands. And then if you get a bit too much material at the top, you can just pull on the end sock. And so you just keep twisting it through all the way down the sock. And see how I just pulled down there so that there's not too much material going around. You want a pretty tight wrap. Um, if your hair is really thick or you just want a smaller sock bun, then you can just use one sock. But if you want to have a bigger bun, then you can use two or even three if you want to. So I'm just finishing that off. And then the last little bit, I'm just going to tuck it through the centre hole and just finish it off. So I'm just wrapping the end part around and that just holds everything nicely together. So that is alright for me but I think I want a bit of a bigger sock bun. So I'm taking my second sock and again with the ruffled edge, you want to push that through the centre of the little donut thing. So you can see how I'm taking it and I'm just going to pull it through the centre and then pull the outside parts over the original sock bun and then begin to flip them again so then you're covering the the base sock bun with the black fabric so that you get an even bigger sock bun so I'm just twisting it and once you get all to, down to the bottom you're pretty much done So here's just the end, I'm just taking those final little bits of sock and just wrapping them around the sock bun. So you can see here it's really easy and this is great for old socks that have holes in the bottom that you don't need anymore. So I'm going to show you how you can use this. Now usually you would wrap the hair down but I actually can't do that because my hair is too thick and long. So I've just put my hair into a ponytail and I'm just pulling the little sock bun form over my hair so that it's on top of the ponytail. Then I'm just going to split my hair into two like so. And I'm just going to begin to push all the hair around so that it completely covers the bun maker because you don't want to see any of that sock. And that's why we use a colour that's similar to our hair so it blends in a little bit better. So I'm just going to take an elastic and pull that over just once just to hold things in place a little bit but you could do it twice if you needed to. Take all the remaining hair and just begin to twist it up into a little twist that will surround the sock bun. And then once you've got all the hair up, you can just put an elastic around it. And if you need it, you can add some bobby pins, but mine usually stays together pretty well. So you can see here now it's done and it stays up really well. So you can add whatever accessories you want. Um, everyone should know this hairstyle because it is so easy for those bad hair days or when your hair is really dirty. So you can just rub a ribbon around your hair like so. Or you can add a little bow in different places at the bottom or at the top of the side. It looks really cute either way. And the last little option is to add in these cute little flowers that I made and if you want a tutorial then comment below or like this video. So thank you so much for watching, bye!
So don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking that little purple button and watch another video.